For me, Altair. Gagné than a plus is dead. Excellent. We could not have hoped for a more agreeable outcome. And yet. What is it? The doctor insisted his work was noble. And looking back, those who were supposedly his captives seemed grateful to the man. Not all of them, but enough to make me wonder. How did he manage to turn enemy into friend? Leaders will always find ways to make others obey them. And that is what makes them leaders. When words fail, they turn to coin. When that won't do, they resort to baser things. Bribes, threats, and other types of trickery. There are plants, Altair. Herbs from distant lands that can cause a man to take leave of his senses. So great are the pleasures it brings. Men may even become enslaved by it. Dank 420 plays it. Poisoned? Yes, if it truly was as you describe it. Herbs. This seems a strange method of control. Our enemies have accused me of the same. <laughs> it's funny because it's true. They think it is a god, overflowing with women and pleasure. But I drug you as Garnier did his men, and tempt you with his rewards. They do not know the truth of it. Which is how it must be. <laughs> but if they knew the truth of it, that all we seek is peace, then they would not fear us, and we would have no hold over them. Go. It is time you continued with your work. Another rank is restored to you, as is a piece of your equipment. We'll speak again when the next has fallen. I think it's fantastic they included that little um, herbs thing, because in actual, like not in Assassin's Creed, obviously, like it's a complete, like it's an order that's there for peace to take out the Templars, but in actual history, the Assassins, um, they used essentially like marijuana to uh i don't want to say indoctrinate but i guess the people that were there were like you know they were they were like drugged up and shit and they were you know told that you know paradise and all this stuff and everything and that was like their incentive to do these assassinations and stuff and that's just the thing they did as an actual thing in history, and I think that's hilarious they brought it up in this game. I didn't even notice until just... That's the first time I've ever fucking noticed that joke. That's fantastic. That is... That's that's an intelligent joke. I'm... I applaud that. I applaud that joke. Um, I think it's, it's... The reason it's funny is because they're talking about actual history in a game where they've changed history slightly. I just think that's great. Anyways, let's let's continue. We're gonna we're fucking let me try that one again. We're gonna go to Jerusalem this time, and we're gonna take out Talal, uh, who doesn't have a second name. I don't believe it's just Talal, um, the slave, the slave guy who uh, takes the takes the slaves. He sends them to Ark Ar Ar and then he, I think canonically, canonically, yeah, canonically. I think you should do Talal before Garnier because it makes more sense, right? Because he sends the slaves to Acre and then fucking what's his name? Uh, Garnier drugs them up and shit and does whatever to them. And yeah, that's like, that's how it goes. So it makes sense that if you cut off his supply, he would still be there doing what he did with the current patients. Uh, and then you kill Garnier and then that's that done. But if you do the other way around, it's strange because you're killing Garnier, so that shuts down his hospital and his whole operation. But then why is Talal still oh, like active doing what he's doing? It doesn't make sense for Talal to still be active when you've killed Garnier. So I don't know. I think it's a bit weird. But um, it's whatever. It's whatever. It's whatever. Anyway, let us continue. And this time, we're go oh, this is the last time we have to go through the kingdom now, which is good news. Um, I'm happy about that. I'm just thinking, because this episode will go out on... What is this? Episode 4 now, I think? Uh, so, 3 is to... 4 is tomorrow. Uh, so, 4 will go up on Thursday. Same day as the Red Dead trailer. So hype. Oh, I bet by the time... By the time this... Uh, by the time this video's up, I'll already have watched the trailer. And I'll be... have uploaded my reaction and uploaded, like, an analyzation or whatever. Um, so, that's... That's exciting. But, uh, I want to go to Damascus to get to Jerusalem. Um, but, um, yeah. I was thinking, because this Let's Play will last probably 10 to 20 episodes, something like that. Um, probably closer to 10. It'll probably be 11, 12 episodes. 12 episodes at most. Because they're half an hour long, and each assassination takes about half an hour. So, if there's 9 assassinations, that's already 9 episodes. 
then there's the intro and the outro and some little bits in between just in case it takes longer. So that's a ride. I think that's just over 11 episodes I think it'll take. Um, so, yeah, this might last... Mm, actually, that's difficult because this will probably... what It definitely won't last until up to the Ezio collection. 100% won't. But, um, I, I'm taking kind of like a short break uh, in a little bit. Like, I won't be uploading daily... Uh, as of the 27th of October, I think, or is it the 28th? I don't remember, because Elva's coming over to visit, so uh, I'm not going to be uploading as frequently, because I'm going to be busy and everything. I'm not going to be sitting around making videos while Elva's here, so I'll probably upload, uh, I'll upload this Let's Play if that's still going daily, because that's easy, because I record in bulk, so I've got the recordings there. It's simple to just render upload. It's easy, but... In terms of making content like AC Empire Wishlist, um, I could do an episode with Elva maybe. Because uh, I think that could be kind of fun. She's currently on Unity, so she's been catching up playing all the Assassin's Creed games, currently on Unity. So just two to go, just Unity and Syndicate left to go. Uh, and those games are irrelevant, so you know. Uh, but yeah, I could always do uh, Empire Wishlist with Elva if anyone's interested in that, because I think that could be alright. Uh, but you know, whatever. And obviously we'll make some kind of content together or whatever, but and stream streams will still be going on and everything, we'll still do some streams. Um, but... In terms of content like uh, theories and speculation and stuff like that, if there's any news, then that'll go up. Um, but in terms of random discussion, speculation videos, there probably won't be any until November the sixth. Uh, do November the seventh actually, because November the sixth goes home on the sixth, so I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna make a video that day. But uh, where the fuck am I going? Uh, but I was just giving you a little update because I thought, why not just let you guys know what's going on um, with the channel in the next few weeks because. Yeah, but uh, we'll be back in full force on the 7th or 8th of November, and then that'll be, you know, all the videos will be going up as normal, as well as uh, the Ezio Collection Let's Play, which will be up uh, around the release date, which should be good. Uh, Jerusalem! We're almost there. Alright, this is all good. This is all good. You know what I love about the PC version of this game, is you can teleport from... Uh, the Masyaf gates, like the front, like the ca Masyaf castle gates, when you get to the castle gates, you can teleport from there to whichever city you want. Like, you don't have to go, you don't have to run down to the bottom of Masyaf, run through the gates and everything. You don't have to do any of that. You just get to the port colors of the castle, and then you can fast travel to whatever city. That's fucking awesome. Why isn't that on console? Sort out. I think that'd be one of them features they'd include if they ever did a remaster. I hope, anyways. Can like a proper remaster, not an SEO. Oh, I burped again. Not an SEO collection remaster, because those remasters are not really remasters at all. Okay. Let us continue. Oh, here we go. Beautiful view of Jerusalem here. Looking freaking awesome. Okay, let's continue. Oh, there we go. See, this game has horse jumping off. Horse, like, aerial dismounts. Brotherhood's not the first game to do that. You can do it in this game. Might be a little bit more difficult and a little bit more fiddly, but you can still do it in this game. Uh, as well as air assassinations and things like that, they're still in the game, you know? Okay. The first investigation's over here. There we go. Oh look, it's every single interrogation target ever. They didn't even think of modeling different characters. That's a weird voice. Come on, bitch. You want some? Because I'll fucking give it to you. Get the fuck out of my face. Bitch, get the fuck out of here. I love how the guards don't give a shit when you fight these guys. Like, they just don't care. Bitch, get fucked. I have nothing to say to you. Speak to me or speak to God. It's your choice. You won't stop the work he does. Cannot stop it. Stop He's looking what? at me. That's creepy. What work? He prepares them for the journey. Journey where? He's talking to me. They that's weird. His warehouse. And when the time comes, they are sent to Aka. Where is this warehouse? 
And why Arka? Talal tells me what I need to know. Nothing more. It is safer that way. For him, perhaps. Though not, I fear, for you. No, no, no. Where is the one responsible? Wasn't me, don't worry about it. It's alright, friends. We are just friends. Let's go. Alright. Let's go. Oh, there's one viewpoint here. We'll have to do, we'll do this viewpoint then. Um, because there's none. Actually, no. We don't have to do this one. Because I don't think this one even reveals anything. We don't have to do this one because we can just fucking get to a rooftop and have a look. For one. I'm an idiot. Like that one right there. We'll do that. Oh, no. I can't wait to get the fucking grab feature back where you can just hold on to something because it's so annoying when you miss a jump. Like, you miss, miss like, uh, point a jump in the wrong direction and you fuck up. Infidel, that shut the fuck up. Oh, God, what the... F where the fuck did that guy... Where oh, I love, the, I love that fucking phrase. It's great. Get the fuck out of here. No! This is not okay. He's dead on him! He's running straight for the cemetery. <laughs> okay, let's go. Where's the fucking... There's the perch. The eagle perch. Eagle flight VR game. Really good game. Better than Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Actually, it probably is. It's probably a ton more fun, actually. Over here. Up we go. And then... Synchronize! Uh, do we have... No, we haven't locked anymore yet. Alright. Cool. We just need one more investigation, and then we are good to go. So, come on. For sure, give us one. For sure. Ah, oh, dang it. Okay. Screw it. Uh, I feel like... I feel like this one might be a good one. Okay. Come on, Altair. Let's vanish. Here comes the English king and his army of infidels. Oh, God. This game has, like, a few phrases and that's it. I love it so much. Assassin's Creed 1. The feels. Okay, let's keep going. Um, come on, Altair. You got this. You're all right. This game has actually an awesome climbing system when you think about it. Like... No other game does this. It's well, games do now, but at the time, this was like revolutionary. Like every single thing you see in the distance that have a handhold, you can use to climb. Like that's fucking incredible. That's so revolutionary. Nice one, Assassin's Creed. I applaud you on your innovation with this game. They made a beautiful game and they fucking butchered it. Uh, but yeah, I we're not gonna talk about that. So, anyways, let's keep going around. Let's find the climbing bit. Where is it? Where you at? Where the fuck? There it is. All right. Ah, oh, shit. There we go. Up we go. There should be a dude up here, I think. There's a the blummin' dickhead. There we go. Synchronize. Beautiful. All right. Well, well. So I didn't get anything from that either? Dang it. This is a difficult one. This might take longer than I thought it would. Just because the investigation isn't directly in front of me. <laughs> but I like that you have to find your own investigation around the city. I just think the only thing I would add is way more depth to it. Than just those missions. Like, just way more shit to do. Like, unique stuff. Like, sometimes it's better to have left, less assassinations and less space, but more shit to do. And stuff that doesn't guide you. You don't need your hand-holding stuff. It's annoying. Got him! Ah, there's the thing. Leap of Fates are fucking awesome. I stand before you to deliver a warning! It 
I'm just listening to the dude that's like preaching. I'm listening to, I'm enjoying his little speech he's got going. It's quite interesting, actually. Yay, an informant! Cool, we got it. I would just be really disappointed with informant missions. I'm like, oh shit, I don't want to do those. They're really difficult, but they're not. They're not really difficult. What they are is they're not fucking easy as shit. That's what they are. They're, they're an actual mission that's actually not shit. Right, let's jog down here. Safety and peace, Altair. Fucking hell, Adewale. Times, do we not? I am in an ocean of trouble. <laughs> Adewale. <laughs> ocean. In the rich district, and Talal's men saw my face. My status is compromised. Would you be kind enough to eliminate them for me in exchange for the information you seek? Okay. Let's kill these dudes. We got this. Stop, stop. I don't want beggars. I don't want beggars. I can't stand you stupid fucking beggars. There we go. Easy assassinations. Up here we do. Yep, and then informant. Altair, you're rid of the ones who knew me? Excellent. Here's what I learned about Talal. He's a powerful slaver who occupies an area north of town, near the Barbican. He pays a tribute to the city guards, so he can operate in the shadows. But from what you showed me today, I'm sure he will share the same fate as the others. Thank you again, Altair. Alright, awesome. There we go, time to complete the assassination, let's do it. Let's go and take out... Talal. Classic Talal. I love him, he's my best mate. He's a Talal's classic. Alright, let's go. No! Alright, no! Oh, fucking hell, that was a fucking shambles. Uh, I mean, I mean, what? No, I mean, I meant to do that. That was, uh, was just, what it is, that was skill? Fuck off. Okay, close to the bureau now. Oh, fucking penis, shut the fuck up. Alright, let's go. Do 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 Drop down. The Christian king and his army of infidels. All right. Malik. Safety and peace, Malik. Your presence here deprives me of both. What do you want? Al Muallim has asked. Ask that you perform some menial task in an effort to redeem yourself. So be out with it. Very well. Here's what I know. He traffics in human lives, kidnapping Jerusalem citizens and selling them into slavery. His base is a warehouse located inside the Barbican, north of here. As we speak, he prepares a caravan for travel. I'll strike while he's inspecting his stock. If I can avoid his men, Talal himself should prove little challenge. Little challenge? Listen to you. Such arrogance. Are we finished? Are you satisfied with what I've learned? No. But it will have to do. What was what did you give me this feather? What are you doing? I love Rest, Malik. Prepare, cry in the corner. Do whatever it is you do before a mission. Only make sure you do it quietly. I love Malik. I love the relationship that Altair and Malik have. How it grows and adapts and like, you know, progresses. I think it's awesome. It's the best part of Assassin's Creed 1, maybe. Or Altair's story in AC1, anyways. The Altair Malik story, because they become great friends. Like, it's great. Like, Malik is like Leonardo da Vinci to Ezio. Like, it's the same kind of thing. Like, Malik's like Altair's right hand man. And, like, when he dies, when, like, Abbas kills him, Altair's fucking pissed. Altair's so fucking good. I fucking love Altair. Such a good character. I loved when he mattered to the franchise. <laughs> okay. I remember this was the E3 demo in 2007. Uh, for the game was this one mission here. Um, and... 
and Jade Raymond was like commentating over it while Patrice Desolet played it. Ah, the classic team. Gotta love them. Oh, uh, fucking cock. Right, let's go around here. Because they did this viewpoint here and they hopped down to the bale of hay. And then you had to come around here. And you got these guards. And I always use the tactic from the demo. Because it's so great. I missed the demo for Assassin's Creed 1. Okay. Get out of here! And those guys get distracted, and then I can jump down and swing in. And it's great. And I'm just fucking, I'm a dev. That's what I feel like. I feel like I'm demoing the game, just doing really well. No, what the fucking hell? No, dude! What the heck? This game, I remember, it must have been a dream or something. Because I remember seeing Assassin's Creed seeing the ledge takedowns and being like, why is everyone so happy about that? I thought that was in the first game. I thought I'd done it before. Obviously I hadn't, because it's definitely not in this game. But I remember like actually thinking I'd done it before. I'm like, but that's not new. But it, it is new, and it's weird that I didn't know that. Oh, intrigue. Do not call me that. I only wish to help them. As I myself help was helped. You do no Save kindness me. imprisoning them like this. Imprisoning them? I keep them safe. Preparing them for the journey that lies ahead. What journey? It is a life of servitude. <laughs> you know nothing. It was folly to even bring you here. To think that you might see and understand. I understand well enough. Show yourself. Yeah, show yourself, bastard. Ah. So you want to see the man who called you here? You did not call me here. I came on my own. <laughs> These fucking ninja guys. Did you? Who unbarred the door? Cleared the path? Did you once raise your blade against a single man of mine, huh? Yes, I did. No. All this I did for you. Step into the light then, and I will grant you one final favor. Now I stand before you. What is it you desire? Come down here. Let us settle this with honor. Why must it always come to violence? It seems I cannot help you, for you do not wish to help yourself. And I cannot allow my work to be threatened. You leave me no choice. You must die. No! Oh, you little dickhead. Oh, what do you, you, you what do you mean? What do you mean this will teach me not to trespass? You just said that you let me in. You said this was your choice to let me in. I wasn't fucking trespassing then, was it? Because you fucking allowed me to be in here, you fucking idiot. This guy just doesn't know what he's fucking talking about. No, stop it, stop. Um, uh... God damn it, you dickheads. Yeah! I am so good at this game, wow. There we go, finally formed a fucking combo, Jesus. Okay, let's go. Where's the fucking ladder? I've lost the ladder. There's the ladder. All right, up we go. Keep him away from me. Oh, I can hear one of the fucking preacher guys. <laughs> the English king and his infidel army. Oh, penis, get out of here. Oh, Jesus, I'm so bad. Fucking hell. Oh, no. I'm never this bad. Why is this happening? I hate recording. I always do bad when I fucking record it, and when I'm playing on my own, I'm fine. Alright, let's go.
Talal is mad, isn't it? Come back here, Talal. Got him. You've nowhere to run now. Share your secrets with me. My part is played. The Brotherhood is not so weak that my death will stop its work. What Brotherhood? Al Mualim is not the only one with designs upon the Holy Land. And that's all you'll have from me. Then we are finished. Beg forgiveness from your god. He's long abandoned us. Long abandoned the men and women I took into my arms. What do you mean? Beggars, whores, addicts, lepers. Do they strike you as proper slaves? Unfit for even the most menial tasks? No. I took them not to sell, but to save. And yet you'd kill us all. For no other reason than it was asked of you. No. You profit from the war. From lives lost and broken. Yes, you would think that, ignorant as you are. Wall off your mind, eh? They say it's what your kind do best. Do you see the irony in all this? No, not yet, it seems. But you will. Oh, there we go. Talal is down. Ah, uh, now everyone's trying to kill me. Let's just fucking fuck him up. Screw it. I'm up for a battle. It's all good. Oi. No, no. Oh, fuck. I don't have fucking... Okay, screw it. Let's just run away. Let's just get out of here. Chase cam. Really useful camera angle. Keep on. Let's keep going. There's a ladder there. We'll go up the ladder. Alright. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, boys. Um. Alright. Whee! Oh, I made that one. Sweet. Assassin base. Let's do it. Okay. No, just wait. Are there guys anyone? There they are. Oh god, they're hitting each other, fucking hell. Okay, there we go. Let's take these guys out and then we'll be all good. Yeah. Oh, for fuck's sake, where, where's everyone else then? Oh, screw it. Let's just find a hiding spot. There's one there. I don't know what happened there. Are we done? Okay, sweet. Yeah, let's go see Malik. Oh fuck. Malik. Altair, wonderful to see you return to us. And how fared the mission? The deed is done. Talal is dead. Oh, I know, I know. In fact, the entire city knows. Have you forgotten the meaning of subtlety? A skilled assassin ensures his work is noticed by the many. No, a skilled assassin maintains control of his environment. We can argue the details all you'd like, Malik. But the fact remains, I've accomplished the task set to me by Al Mualim. Go then. Return to the old man. Let us see with whom he sides. You and I are on the same side, Malik. Fast forward oh. poor, poor, poor Malik. Anyways, back to uh, modern day now. I think we get a little modern day section now. Modern day. Is it gonna happen? Yeah, here we go. Out the animals we come. Alright, sweet. 
Desmond's always got his head tilted to the side. Like, what the fuck? Oh, God, what the fuck? That's glitched. Oh, no. I'm, like, staring at the right. Oh, God. God damn it. What's the problem now? I'm getting weird temperature readings. I think the Animus is overheating. Christ, it's always something. How long? Too soon to tell. These delays are unacceptable, Miss Stillman. I want progress reports every hour. It's gonna be a while, Desmond. Why don't you go lie down or something? Get some rest. Couldn't have said it better myself, Lucy. Off to my bedroom I go. What the hell? Someone's been in here. Huh. <gasps> Looks like some kind of access code. Classic Nolan North. Well, I don't need to leave. To bed we go. Rise and shine. We've got quite a day ahead of us. You're in a good mood this morning. Miss Stillman has made some modifications to the Animus. You should be able to remain inside even longer now. And help you with your treasure hunt. This is serious business, Mr. Miles. I don't think you fully appreciate the work that Abstergo does. Maybe because I don't actually know what you people do. We change the world. Every day, in a hundred different ways. Did you know that nearly every single breakthrough of the past millennia, be it medical, mechanical, or philosophical, has come from Abstergo or its predecessors? That's a bold claim, Doc. Think you might be exaggerating a bit? Not in the slightest. Oh, we certainly don't take the credit. That would arouse far too much suspicion. We choose our beneficiaries with great care. Why? Isn't it obvious? It means we're in control. But how? What makes you guys so special, so smart? That you happen to invent all these things while us mere mortals stumble around like idiots? To be fair, we don't invent them. We find them. Find them? They're gifts, Mr. Miles. From those who came before. We'll have to continue this discussion later. Time's wasting. The ones who came before. The ones who came before. I can't get out the room. Okay, now I can. He's got far enough away that his fucking invisible barrier is gone. Yeah. Hi. God, this room's so iconic. It's so, it's so good. Fucking Abstergo. I miss this game so much. Leaping from my places, rivers are flowing red. Now we're defying. Now, now we're uniting. Go watching for. Skies, uh, these streets are burning up. Uh, they're starting fire. Uh, I'm gonna take it to them all.